also go for another month that we already in the month of November. You arrange everything so God to favor us in the name of Jesus. Dad have troubled our heart, let it be an answer in the name of Jesus. We know you are God that will write on time and will look unto you. He said, he said, and he looked unto him, and they were a light in our head, were not ashamed. Lord, our eyes is on you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God and my Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Sunday, uh, today being the first Sunday in the month of um, uh, November, I trust the Lord that this message will reach you well, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, the year is running so fast to an end, and... And the question that will be in your mind that Lord, when I entered this year 2020, I was excited and I said, Look, these are the things I want the Lord to do for me, and these are the things they are lined up. And some of uh, you have a covenant prayer card that you listed uh, some things that you want the Lord to do for you, but it look as if they are still hanging. But I want to tell you today that God is right on time, and on that premise, I want to uh, preach on a message titled God. Is never too late. God is never too late. Now, when we preach to you, you that's watching us, we also preach to ourselves because we are men. We are men before the men of God. Now, every man have a desire, have a prayer request. A bishop have a prayer request, an apostle have a prayer request, an archbishop have a prayer request, a pope have a prayer request. An apostle have a prayer request. So everyone have a prayer request. No one on earth say, well, I don't have any prayer request. I just know it's a lie. The person is deceiving you. If they have money, they have everything, the prayer request should be, Lord, give me longevity of life. I don't think there's any man who says, at the age of 30, is a billionaire, and say, well, uh, he wants to die early or she wants to die early. No. So everyone have a prayer request, whether you echo it or not. You have a prayer request. A company have a prayer request. A ministry have a prayer request. Marriages have a prayer request. Children have a prayer request. Let me pass my exam. Let me do well. Let me uh, settle me in, in all side. And so when that keep coming to our heart, there's every tendency to say, Lord, when will you answer me? When will you respond to my prayer request? But this is what the Lord laid in my heart some, some days now that as you speak to you and I, God is never too late. God is never to listen. I will be taking our test from the book of John chapter 11. He said, account of uh, Lazarus and Martha and Mary, they, the, they lost their brother. And Jesus, they suppose that Jesus had to come down and just uh, uh, heal him when he was sick. But Jesus waited for him to die. Not just for him to die, he waited for him to be buried. And Martha was so... Uh, so sad and always almost taking offense, uh, taking offense with Jesus. That look, if if you are here, my brother have not have died. And Jesus said, "Don't worry, I am the resurrection and the life." And he said, "But I know he will resurrect the last day." Jesus said, you "Don't know what I'm talking about." A point came. Jesus told the disciples, "Say Lazarus sleeping. Let's go and wake him up." And the disciples said, "We know if he's sleeping, let him just sleep on. Probably on the resurrection day, we will meet." But God is never too late. And as I begin to read from John chapter 11, from verse 38, it says, Jesus therefore again, groaning in himself, cometh into the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus ground. He knew that it may be from a distance he could smell the st uh, that Lazarus stinking. He groaned in the spirit that he know that only you God can do this. In verse 39, and Jesus said, take away the stone. Matters, uh, uh, matter the sister of, of him that was dead said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days, not three days. Now, in the Jewish understanding and culture that when a man died, his spirit still um, uh, hover around the place at the air for three days. After three days, the man did not get up, then is is gone. And so that's why I say he's there for this, not three days. If it's three days, we'll say there is so, but say no. Look at what Jesus said. And Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, 
thou should have seen the glory of the Lord. In other words, Jesus was saying to her, Martha, Mary, it's not too late. I know with men uh, it is impossible, with God all things are possible. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. With God all things are possible. I know you'll be saying it is too late now. And you that is watching me right now, probably you believe in God for fruit of the womb that this year is a year you're going to conceive as a marriage, married couple, but nothing has happened. It's not too late. God is right on time. And he said, roll away the stone. Then they took away the stones from the place where the dead was laid and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, that is what we should pray about. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you that thou hearest heard me, uh, heard, heard me, but that before Jesus prayed, God have already heard him. And I knew that thou hearest me always, not just one, but, but because of these people who stand by, I said it, that, thy, that, that may believe that thou hast sent me. That thou hast sent me. When you follow Jesus, men will follow you. When you follow Jesus, it may look as if everything is not working right now, but it will work. When Jesus is in your boat, I stay strong. The storm will not swallow you. This challenge will not bring you down. Stay strong. Because he's the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the miracle worker. No, you see, you cannot help yourself. If God did not help, you cannot help yourself. The king said when they, 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 they came and said, look, the situation in the city is so bad that people are not eating their children. And they cried and the king turned, his, uh, turned the clothes and put out his said, look, if God did not help you, who can help you? Hear me and hear me. You that is watching me right now. If God did not ordain any man to help you, no man will help you. Every man is selfish. Is themselves themselves before you. So when you are praying for that, or you are, you are accusing that uncle or that friend, that, that millionaire that you know that they have not helped you yet, it is not their fault. You need to ask heaven to touch them. Until heaven touch their heart, they cannot release anything. No one wants to let go that they are folding. If I'm lying, give, give a, a biscuit to a little child who uh, uh, have not known anything. Let him be eating biscuits. Some of the child's home where some can, when they say give it to me, some can give it to a willing. But if they are hungry and they are eating biscuit, if they give it to me, they will hide it. Every man is selfish. Until God touches their heart, they can't release it. And so God is not too late. Thou that look as if uh, he, uh, he belong. When we seek God's face, he will release it. In verse 43, and when he had has spoken, he cried with love. But people say, don't, uh, did Jesus don't, don't pray aloud, pray, pray. Sick. No. There's a time to pray aloud. They say, cry aloud and lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. There's a place to cry aloud. There's a place to pray silently. In a church, when you say, everybody you pray, there's no time to be in a mumble or something in your mouth. Cry aloud. Jesus cried with a loud voice and he said, Lazarus, comfort. And the Bible said that he that was dead came back alive. And he said to them, lose him and let him go. But before then, they were thinking it's too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. God is right on time. Let me submit to us that God is never too late. He's always right on time. It's never too late. Always right on time. I, one of uh, the great men of God who have gone to be with the, uh, with the Lord, uh, Arud Dobi Shambak, he was sharing a testimony that happened in his crusade. He said, when I was preaching, I was preaching on mercy, God is not late. It's not too late. As he was preaching the message, he said, uh, he was still preaching the message. A woman walked all the way from the back, straight to the podium, and dropped a letter at the altar. He said, how dare you say God is not too late? And he looked at the woman and said, what are you saying? And the woman said, this is a letter that the bank wanted to take over my house tomorrow. And, and I would be shamed back, pick the letter, and I smile. I said, God is not too late. He said, then prove it. Now, Dabi Shamba just prays, Lord, prove yourself concerning this letter. And that crusade, the woman went back home. In the morning, there was a mail that came to her. It was a check of, I think, distance uncle and all that. that I think they, 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 they sent her some heavy money that could pay off the, 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 the bond. 
They never know she was owing money from the bank. And before the bank came, he called and said, Look, how much am I owing you? He said, Susan, he said, I'm going to transfer the money to you now. God is never too late. When you think it's all over, he will show up. Talk about uh, the case of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he said, Oh, king, we are not ready to answer you in this matter. He said, If this other matter will answer, but in the case of we bow down to your idol, we are not ready to answer you. He said, we were ready to enter the furnace fire. Say, we know that the God we serve will deliver. Say, but if not, let it be known that we're not ready. Bible said that, uh, that, that the king said, he told the fire more. As he threw these guys to the fire, before they got there, the fourth man was there. God is never too late. God can rescue you from every calamity. God can rescue you from every hope. I heard about the story of uh, uh, Pastor Iya Deboye. Uh, spiritual father shared this testimony when I was working under him those days. I recorded for him. He said there was a missionary in one of the country. And they went there for missionary work. You know, missionary, at times their resources could just dry up. Because nobody's ready to support them. And there was no food for them to eat, but they keep doing evangelism. He said one day in the morning that the children were crying. The young one was so crying and was, they can't hold it, hold it anymore. So the, the more they cried, the more they tried to close their mouth so that the neighbors would not hear them and maybe they call the child welfare. Uh, welfare. And as we we're doing that, they saw this Jehovah's Witness, Jehovah's Witness, a week they were evangelized. Say, God spoke to them that there's a missionary that Susu Street, they should buy groceries to them. They went there, they knock. I said, Do you, they want to confirm whether is it the actual family? And he asked the, 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 the family, he said, do you have food in your fridge? And they smiled. He said, no, I want to know. He entered the house, opened the fridge, it was empty. He said, they went to the car, brought all the groceries they bought. God is never too late. It's right on time. Have you been held captive and you think help will not come? Help will come. He said, there's going to be help and enlargement from another source. When Hamar was uh, uh, threatening the children of uh, uh, Israel to destroy them, to wipe away the old Jews, and he, he, he told them, I've gotten all hold of every, everything to take them out. And Mordecai cried, say, go, tell Esther, if you, if you hold that peace now, I know help and enlargement will arise from under source. But let it be known that he will not be spared. So God is right on time. I can stay here and begin to uh, yeah, show you, duplicate Bible testimony of people who God came on time to rescue them. If we can have faith, we can say believe in God, just believe in God once more. To me, every day is a plus to me. Every day, God did, I say, well, we are close to our breakthrough. Every day I, I wake up, I say, we are close to the answer. We are close to where we're going to get this that we desire. Every day is not a minus, it's a plus to you. Never a minus. Look at it literally every day you wake up, you grow old. It's not a minus. You cannot just say, man, who uh, today say God just minus one year, so it's not going back to. No, you don't. Every day is a plus. So when you wake up every day, be excited and say, Lord, thank you that this is a new day that you made. I must rejoice and be glad indeed. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, say he made everything beautiful in his own time. He arranged everything in his own time. He knows when to come. He knows when to answer. He knows when to... You see, if God did not plan his timetable for you, you may miss the track in life. There are certain persons that they started life so, so fast, so fast, and they couldn't live long. Their life was cut short. God knows our timetable. We cannot apply our timing to God's own because uh, of pressure, of, of needs, of our time. Oh, my mate have gotten married. Oh, my mate have bought car. Oh, my mate have graduated. Oh, my mate have done. No, thank God first for the good health he has given you. I was speaking to my covenant friend and I, we were talking about a pastor who is, is facing a lot of health, health challenges. He's a billionaire, but yeah, we say thank God that our case is different. There are things that money cannot buy. Say, man of God, thank God that our case is not we are faced, we are not, we are, we are having head challenges. No. 
We're just believing God for the right time for God to give us that our heart desire. Breakthrough in ministry. Breakthrough in, in, in our career. And so God is not too late. There could be pressure, but hold on to God. God is not slow in keeping his commandment and his covenant, but is right on time. God is not slack concerning his commandment. In number chapter 23, verse 19, he said, God is not a man that I should lie. Have he said it, I will not do it? God is not a man that I should lie. Man can lie. In the beginning of, uh, of, of, of the message, I said that men can, can disappoint. Not because they won't, but they are men. But God can never disappoint. Is a yam that I am. So God is not a man that I should lie. You and I know that waiting is not that easy, but it is part of the process for greater miracles. Waiting is part of a uh, of, uh, of process. Uh, uh, it's a process you must follow. I'm yet to see a woman who just get pregnant, and doctor confirm her pregnant this month. He said, uh, uh, how old is the pregnancy? The doctor said, just two months. He said, no, by next month, I want to deliver the baby. No, that's the danger. No matter how, how anxious you are for the baby to be delivered, you cannot just carry the pregnancy for two months then you say you want to deliver. No, no. No, it cannot happen. It's a part of the process. It's part of the process. So God is never too late. When we say God is never too late, I've, I've waited for some, for, some, for, some, for some issue, for some things to happen in my life. I know it's painful to wait. When those have gone ahead of you, but when God arise, decide to favor you, you will be the best. For he said, thou shalt rise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time to favor. Yea, the set time have come. Your set time have come. When we come as a pastor, come uh, to encourage uh, you, we are also encouraging ourselves. The job of a pastor is so challenging that pastor will be going through uh, uh, financial hardship, yet yeah, it's also encouraging people that all is well. Hallelujah. Take for example the case of Joshua. Joshua went to, uh, to view the land when Moses sent them to view the land. And they said, Go and spy the land. They spread the land, spy the land. They, they, they came with, with the fruit. He said, The land is flowing with milk and honey. They we tasted the, the, the fruit. But here he took Joshua 40 years. To possess the land. You can see that in Joshua chapter 1, verse 24. It took Joshua 40 years. Joshua went, maybe when he went, he was uh, viewed the land, he just, oh, praise God, this is where God promised us. We have seen our record board. He thought maybe within two or three years, he will get there. But it took Joshua 40 years to possess the land. God is never too late. As he said it, he will surely bring it to pass. His son is able to do that who she had promised. Hallelujah. If you might have married late, but it's not late in the eyes of men, in the eyes of God, that could be the, the eyes of men. But it's not too late. It's not too late. You might have graduated late, but that is late in the eyes of men, but God is not too late. Every man's journey is not the same thing. With every man's journey. You see, you see, the journey, uh, uh, the journey to life or, or human journey is like people going to a market. Not everybody will, will, start, will open at the same time. Not everybody will close at the I don't talk, I'm not talking about the modern mall today that you say they have a time that everybody open. Even the, even the mall, you, you can't tell me that everybody will, everybody will close 6 o'clock dot and everybody leave the mall. No, there are some who will not close at least 6, some close to 7. So that life is like a market. You may get there late. You may leave there late. And some will get to the market early and leave early. That is how life is. God is never too late. Hallelujah. Jo jo uh, Joshua chapter I, I believe I, 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 I could read that but let me just. Joshua was was, was about to break. maybe that time that Joshua went to Vidalan. If they moved there he couldn't have taken over from Moses. But God waited for Moses to be taken away from the sin for Joshua to appear. God is never too late. I've come to understand with a little time of working with God that those that waited for miracle has the best miracle that money cannot buy. They had the best miracles. 
what money cannot buy. They waited, but the miracle is there. Your prayer every day is the law. Give me the grace, the tenacity to, to, to my strength to be renewed before my miracle comes. Give me that grace. Because if God didn't give you the grace, you may just fall by the wayside. God is never too late. Look a lie that every day you are getting closer to your breakthrough. Every day you are getting closer. He knows how to figure things and arrange things out. My wife was sharing with me as we were taking a walk yesterday. He said, God, if you look at a life, God knows how to come at the right time. When he looks at it, things he's about to get out of hands and want to be embarrassed, he showed up. We've seen that over and over in our ministry. It's not too late. When we came to South Africa to start a church, there was at the early stage, there was a, a month we were having challenges, had to pay the church rent. And a stranger uh, uh, who was walking by, uh, by our car, he saw our sticker taking dominion. He said, I love this, I love this sticker. And he, he took the number, our number that was written on the sticker, and he called us. Are you pastors? So, 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 we say, yes. He said, tomorrow I'm coming to church. I just pass through your church now. And he came the next day, he said, the Lord said, I should bring this money to you. He brought the money and we said, praise God, we are close half to the rent. That's what we said when, when, he, when, when he left. The next day also called and said, get to the share with the wife. The wife said, no, go back, double the money. And the next day when he was coming, he bought a branch at Itri and bought us a breakfast. Because my wife and I resume at the church every day. He doubled the money and that was how we paid the church rent that month. God is never too late. It's right on time, if you believe it. Don't just measure your life with your friends. No, they're different journey. Are you with me? We may have set up that we are going to Canada, we are going to, uh, to, 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 to America. You see, three people can set up, they can be taking different airlines. We, are, we arrive at uh, maybe Johannesburg Airport. One will be going with maybe Emirates, the other will be going with uh, uh, KLM, the other will be going with British Airways, the other will be going with, uh, with uh, Air France. Everyone will be heading to Canada or Australia or uh, or US, for example. We are all in the same uh, airport waiting for our time to depart. Our departure will be different. Time of departure will be different. And time of arrival is different. But the good is that you must get to your destination. Hallelujah. I prophesy that you must get to your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. But look at what he said in Isaiah chapter, chapter 40, verse 31. He said, but they that... Wait upon the Lord shall renew that strength. Oh Lord, renew my strength. They shall renew that strength. They shall mount up like uh, with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall, uh, they shall walk and not faint. Give me strength that I will not fall by the wayside. That is the prayer you need to pray. Oh Lord, give me strength that I will not fall by the wayside. As I speak right now, and I believe God that we have more, almost, uh, Almost uh, 50 something days for this year, 2022, to continent. 50 something days. God can do wonders in less than a day. We'll serve a God 24 hours miracle. If you believe and I believe, it's ready to show up when we didn't even expect. Hallelujah. Now look at what he said as I close with this. As I close with this. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. This was a warning from Paul the Apostle. And he said, he said, verse 6, he said, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. That every day, say, Lord, I thank you for where I am right now. Let your request be made known unto God. And in verse 7, he said, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your heart and your mind Christ Jesus. He said it will keep your heart and your mind. When your heart is not broken, your mind is asked. May the Lord give you that peace in the name of Jesus. You that's watching me, I don't know your need, but God knows your need. I don't know what we're believing God for, but God knows. He knows my name. That's it. The son's writer said. He knows everything that I've gone through. He's right on time. May the Lord come right now to you. May he come to your rescue. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know you waited for too long, but the waiting is over now. In the name of Jesus. 
may this week bring your testimony in the name of jesus christ i prophesy enlargement i prophesy greatness in the name of jesus christ you will give a testimony in the name of jesus when you begin to give the testimony other people will shut up in the name of jesus they will rejoice with you in the name of jesus lord will just bless your name lord we give you praise we give you honor we give you praise, we give you honor. Thank you, Lord. Wherever you are watching me from, begin to thank the Lord for the first Sunday in the month of November. Begin to thank you. Begin to thank you. Father, thank you, God, for bringing me to the month of November. It's of your mercy that I'm not consumed. I know it's not my righteousness. No, no, no. It's of your mercy, Lord. It's of your mercy, Lord. I thank you. I bow before you. I bow before you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. I give you praise. I give you honor. I know what I'm going to give my testimony. Nande roha shatakabara. Hey, I refuse to measure my, my, my progress with other people's progress. Kaparada, you are right on time, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Bless your holy name. We we'll give you praise. We we'll give you honor. Hallowed be your name. Thank you for a day like this. We worship you. We we'll bless your name. We know you are right on time. Prove yourself, Lord. Even this very week. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I trust the Lord that this message was a blessing. It's a blessing to you. Please do share to among your friends and those platform. I believe God there are people who are going through preacher who are going through a trying time in this end time. Now hear me, there's great darkness all over the world. We need encouragement from the Lord to skate through. Hallelujah. So share it to people, let them be blessed. Now quickly I want to take our offering. And, and our banking deed is going to appear on the screen. If you don't live in the street, John, uh, you can also uh, go to our website and uh, you can give online. There's also a scam to give. You can have other uh, method to give. But do drop it off an uh, offering of thanksgiving. Let the Lord know you appreciate it. Let the no Lord, Lord know. See, money cannot buy your life, money cannot buy it. Hallelujah. So we ask him that you drop it off right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we well, thank you and bless you now for. The offering of your people, Lord, and like that territory in the name of Jesus. Blessed be God in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for waiting and, uh, and watching to the end of the telecast. The, the, the blessing that money cannot buy will locate in the name of Jesus. We also have our books on social media platform, uh, Amazon, on that platform. Take advantage of that and buy, buy one and begin to read. You need to read so that you can renew your mind. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. I want you, I want to let you know that we celebrate, especially those our online followers. Since two years we've been online, I want to appreciate you in the name of Jesus. For well, here this no matter what matters, know that the same God is at work. We'll see you again another lake. I'll say to you, God bless you, Chacha. -cha.